Wagwan Massive and if Ziba, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. In this video, I will be sharing the base oil for my secret hair growth oil. Please ensure that you watch the entire video because I will be sharing a tip or two on what you can do to make your oils more potent. For the ingredients, I'll be using tuna that I've already chopped, aloe vera, pimento berries, ashwagandha powder, pimento leaves, and just a little piece of the stick, dried ginger, rice bran powder, olive oil, and coconut oil. I will be increasing the surface area of the tuna and aloe vera, so, and this just means that I'll be blending them so that they can absorb into the oils much easier. Now my blender was giving a bit of problem. I don't know if the blades were dull or I don't know. And so I added some olive oil just to get the blender blades going so that I could blend the tuna and the aloe vera. Now this is the consistency. And now I will be crushing the pimento berries. So tip number one, when you're using any form of powder in your oils, you need to ensure that you increase the surface area of all the other ingredients or most of the other ingredients by blending or pulverizing. So that's tip number one. So I'm adding two teaspoons of ashwagandha powder and I'll be adding two tablespoons of rice bran powder. For the rice bran powder, all I did was use my coffee grinder to grind rice to powder. So I'm just gonna ensure that I combine my dry ingredients before I transfer these to the oils. It makes it much easier and it also blends a lot easier. Now I heated, I preheated my coconut oil. I know I'm adding olive oil. And I'm just gonna give that a quick stir just to get everything blended well. Next, I pour in the tuna and aloe vera mix, and I allow these just to cook a bit before I add my dry ingredients. These will take a bit longer to cook than the dry ingredients. So you want to stir so that you prevent sticking. And you also want to add 
your aloe vera and tuna mix gradually. Next, I add my dry ingredients and I ensure that those are properly, properly immersed into the oils. Just stir to blend everything together properly. Now the color of the aloe vera and the tuna will change and that's how you will know that your mixture is actually ready. This oil takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes to prepare. And next, strain the oil. I'm using a stocking cap just to strain everything. Your oil should be a bright green color when you are finished. Now my final tip, or tip number two, because some of the properties of the oils have been lost in the heating process, Re-adding some of the unheated oils help to enrich your final product. And that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comment section if you will be trying it or if you have tried it, how well it worked for you. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please remember to click on the subscribe button like the video if you found it informative and please share so that others can become aware of my channel thank you